Hello, everybody. My name is Graham Elwood, and you are watching the Baboom Political Vigilante. <clears throat> Folks, support our show. You can go to patreon.com slash Graham Elwood or rockman.com slash Graham Elwood. And also, Super Chats are back. You can be a YouTube subscriber, all that stuff. We appreciate it. And there's our P.O. box, at which is at GrahamElwood.com. And we've got Anything Can Happen will be live. TV pilot taping in Hollywood December 7th. Uh, tickets are available at GrahamElwood.com. And we will also be streaming it on the Stream Live app. So if you're in LA, please come to the show. You will be a part of the studio audience. And it is so much fun to do Anything Can Happen Live. But we're here today to talk about the ridiculous corporate media and how it is spinning, always pushing for war. We know why it's pushing for war, because the military industrial complex, the big defense contractors buy a lot of ad time. And so now with everything that's going on in the Middle East and Ukraine, America has, is trying to sell Americans on the fact that we're, we're, we're under more threats and we need more bombs. So this was just out and I saw that it was in Yahoo News. It was on Fox News and then Yahoo picked it up. Look at this. And who's in the picture? Putin. So what does he have to do with this? Like Pentagon announces new nuclear bomb 24 times more powerful than the one dropped in Japan, which is insane. We don't need that, right? This just came out today. And there's a picture of Putin. Why this? So what, what, what we're clearly saying is, Hey, Putin, we're going to drop something 24. We're like, we're, we're trying to get Russia into world war three. God, this is insane. It's just insane. The department of defense announced a pursuit for a nuclear bomb that will be 24 times more powerful than one of the bombs dropped on Japan during world war two. The Pentagon is seeking congressional approval, which they will get. It doesn't matter if Congress is run by Democrats or Republicans. That will get bipartisan support to pursue a modern variant on the B-61 nuclear gravity bomb, which was designed, uh, which designed the B-6113, according to the DOD press release. Today's announcement is reflective of a changing security environment and growing threats. Oh, there's always a threat everywhere. There's threats everywhere. Oh no, threats and Putin and oh, uh, China and Hamas. There's just threats everywhere. What, what is this? What is this bomb going to cost? What is this bomb going to cost? I drive around Los Angeles. I see homeless people everywhere. I see big high rise apartments that are with one bedrooms are 2,500, three grand, $3,500 one bedroom apartments. Who can afford a $33,000 one bedroom apartment? Who can afford that? They say, they say your rent or mortgage should be uh, 25%, one week salary. So that means you're making $12,000 a month if you can afford, which is not, they've done new studies. Most Americans are paying 50 to 60% of their income is going to rent. Gas is near $6 a gallon. You can find some places in LA that are like 535, 40, but there's plenty of $6 gallon, a gallon places. You've been to the grocery store recently. So have I. Are it's, is it the same price as you were paying a year ago, two years ago, three years ago? No, but boy, there's these threats. We need more bombs because of all of the threats. We have enough nuclear weapons to bomb this, the whole planet, like 20 times over, right? Oh, listen to this. The U S conducts nuclear tests in Nevada hours after Russians moved to revoke the global, the global test ban. A fact sheet included with the release said the B-6113 will have a similar yield to the B-6117, which according to Defense News, has a maximum yield as 360 kilotons. These bombs are made by psychopaths. They are nut jobs. They want to blow the world up. They are crazy people that think we can win a nuclear war, which we cannot. Any, any detonation of today's weaponry would lead to the end of the human race. Okay. It's 24 times larger than the bomb dropped in Hiroshima during World War II. There's only one country in the world that's ever dropped an atomic bomb, good old US of A. 
According to the fact sheet, the powerful new bomb will also include modern safety, security, and accuracy features. Oh, God, is that psycho. This will, they will help reduce global nuclear threats by improving the direction of underground nuclear explosive tests, said of the experiments. The test came as Russia was largely expected to announce it was pulling out of the 1966 Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty, which was designed to ban nuclear explosions anywhere in the world, which we don't, we don't adhere to, the, to, to this treaty, treaty. However, the treaty was never ratified by China, India, Pakistan, North Korea, Israel, Iran, and Egypt. Israel? Yeah. Okay. The new bomb will be deliverable by modern aircraft. If approved, the bomb would replace some of the current. Oh, good. We need more nukes. I, I can't read this dumb crap. God. So we're going to spend more money on a bomb that can blow up. That's 24 times as powerful. And we're just doing it to, to flex our muscles to threaten Russia. We provoked Russia. I don't like that Russia invaded Ukraine, but we provoked them. I showed you an interview with Putin three years ago on this show where he's like, hey, the test ban, you know, the, the nuclear pact, the, you know, the treaty is going to expire. That's not good. We're the bully. The United States is the bully. And we go around provoking everybody and then act like, oh, it's not our fault. It's insane. And more money for war. Always got more money for war. More money for war. So I will paraphrase what General Eisenhower said, who then became President Eisenhower, when he said this. I think he believe he said this as president. Every time you see a bomber, every time you see a bomb, that's a bushel of wheat, that's a school, that's a library, that's money we're not spending on our citizens and our infrastructure. The amount of money we spend just on military alone, there should be no homelessness, they're all, we, every city in America should have affordable housing. The price of a home should be very affordable. The average price of a home is now over $400,000. That's the national average. You can't get that in LA, New York, San Francisco. It's unreal. So every time we spend more money on these bombs, that's guess what? That's like, you know, did your kid's school cut their music program or their arts program? Oh, but we got money for war. Did the after school lunch program get cut? Oh, there's no money in the budget for that. But we got money for a, a giant mega bomb to scare Russia with. The whole reason this Ukraine thing started is because Russia was like, we don't want a NATO base in Ukraine. And then we, we, we've been trying to get one in there. Because Russia doesn't want to nuke on their border. Just like if Russia was trying to set up a base in Canada or Mexico, we would go nuts. Just, I always want you to think, whenever you see some new article about the new bomb, new bomber, new rocket, or we spent these rockets or this for that, military upgrades, just think that's money that could have gone to anything. High-speed rail coast to coast. A network of water pipelines instead of gas and natural gas pipelines and oil pipelines that are dangerous and bad for the environment. We could have water pipelines. So think about this. Some part of the country is getting floods. We can send that water to parts of the country that, that are getting drought. What about that? Nope, we don't have that. Every time you drive over a pothole, hmm, just think that, there's that, that a Tomahawk missile took that money away. Every time you're sitting there looking at your student debt, oh, you could have had free free college, but the military took that took that money away. Every time, I want you to. Every time you're like, the bus is late, the public transportation in your town isn't that great. It's a the military took that. And one of these new bombs took that money away. Think about that. Every time, every time. Well, we don't have money. Well, when you when you get a health bill, every American that has to file bankruptcy for medical debt. Oh, you we could have had free health care. We could have Medicare for all, but the military got the money. Just think of that every time, every time, every time there's always money for war and bombs we don't need and all this nonsense, but boy, we don't have money for anything good. Every time you drive by a homeless person, just think the military took away that, that, that guy's bed. 
a hedge fund took away that bed. Yeah, every time. Yep. Don't have uniforms for your kid's little league team or whatever, your kid's soccer team, or you got to do a fundraiser that's, that could have been paid for. The government could pay for that, but no, the money was given to Boeing or Raytheon or one of those companies every time, every time. I want you to see that every day, every day. It's b bombs and military and oil. File the money, connect the dots, get the truth. Military industrial complex in 2020 gave $2.7 million to Donald Trump's campaign. And they gave 3.1 million, $3 million to Joe Biden's campaign. That means whoever became president was going to give a lot of money to the military. And whoever the two candidates are going into 2024, they will do the same thing again. Follow the money, connect the dots, get the truth, and shave your knuckles for justice. Boom.